right, so now I'm gonna do the skill of applying anti-embolism stockings, um, better known as TED hose, right? So we call those TEDs. For, um, for this skill, what do you need? We, in our school, have already made up these nice little testing packets that have your tape measure, and they have your sizing guide, and they have multiple sizes of TED hose. Uh, you may or may not have that available to you. So worst case, you definitely need your tape measure, you definitely need your sizing guide, and then you can always go back and get whatever size that you need for your TEDs, okay? With this skill, I'm gonna do a little bit of talking through, and then I'm also gonna demonstrate how we would talk to a patient. All right, but first, opening procedures. All right, knock, knock, knock. Come in. Hi, my name is Jenny. I'm gonna be your CNA today. Let me wash my hands. I'm gonna provide you with some privacy. Can I have your name and date of birth, please? Kate Hudson, January 1st, one. Fantastic. Okay, so Ms. Hudson, today we're gonna to go ahead and we're gonna put some TED hose on you. It's really important to make sure that you don't get any blood clots, and so they're gonna be a little bit tight, but that's good. We wanna keep that circulation moving. All right, first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna raise you to a good working height for me. And I'm gonna go ahead and lower the head of your bed down so you're comfortable. Okay, all right, I'm gonna expose your leg just a little bit here. Very good. All right, Ms. Hudson, I'm gonna go ahead and get you measured for the TED hose because we wanna make sure that we have the correct size for you. Okay, so pause. I'm not gonna talk to her about this, but I'll talk to you. How do we measure for TED hose? We do it two different ways. First, we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna measure the calf and we're gonna do that in inches, okay? So her calf measures at 14 inches and it's around the widest part of the calf. So if you can see that. Then the second thing we're gonna do is we're gonna measure from the back of the knee down to the heel. And again, same thing. We're gonna measure her down, and let's say she measures about 16 to maybe 16 and a half inches, somewhere like that. Once we have those measurements in our mind, then we're gonna go to our sizing chart. And this is gonna tell us exactly what type of, uh, or I'm sorry, what size of TEDs that we need to use for our patient, right? You take your calf measurements, you take your, le your length measurements, and you find out what you need. Now, for the purpose of school, though, we don't have all of these cool measurements, so we're just gonna take, or all these sizes, so we're just gonna take what we've got, so. All right, very good. Back to the skill. All right, so we went ahead and got you measured and I found your perfect size. So now I'm gonna go ahead and get this on you. Now, first thing you're gonna do, oh my, this one's tight. Okay, first thing you're gonna do is you are going to find the heel of your tets, all right? You need to put your hand inside the sock and you need to find the heel and you need to pinch the heel. Do you see that square right there? Right? So that's what you're looking for. You're gonna pinch that and you're gonna pinch it and go all, and hold the pinch and pull the tet stockings all the way down until you're right at where you pinched. The other thing I did not mention, which I should have, is it's really important that you have to know where the toe is, okay? Because the toe in TED hose is usually on top of the patient, okay? The opening for the toe is usually right on top. And you have to make sure you know when you're putting this on where the toe is. Is it on the top or is it on the bottom? So here I've got my toe measured, right? Toe is on top facing me. I'm gonna get my hand in my sock. All right, so now I'm gonna flip it over, okay? So now toes facing away from me. And in my sock, I've got my heel, pinch my heel, pull it all the way down to the pinch, okay? And if I flip it, toes facing back towards me, if that makes sense. Now, the most important thing is to get your hand all the way down in this sock Get your fingers and spread it as wide as you can before you even start putting this on the patient. Set up with this skill is everything. If you're struggling and you're not able to get this TED hose on this patient, don't struggle. Take off the sock, reset it up correctly. When you put it on, you're gonna put it on over the toe and you're gonna work until you get it over the heel, then you're gonna pull it up the leg, okay? All right, wish me luck, this one's really tight. All right, and the mannequins are really hard. Okay, Ms. Hudson, I'm gonna go ahead and put this on you here. All right, go ahead. 
get this over your heel. There we go. Once you get it all the way over the heel, now I'm going to go ahead and just feed this over top. Now, obviously, on a human, it's a little bit easier because they don't, they're not so wobbly. All right. There we go. Now, I'm going to go ahead and pull this up. Now, I'm going to speak those magic words. And those magic words are, I see that there's no wrinkles or rolls, okay? Obviously, she has got this huge joint. There's nothing I can do about that. And she has this huge joint here. There's nothing I can do about that as well. But really, on a human being, there should be no wrinkles or rolls. You need to finish with the toe in place, and in this specific brand, it's on top, and you need to finish with the heel in place, okay? All right, back to our patient. All right, Miss Hudson, great job. We're gonna go ahead and get you tucked back in. You lower your bed so you're nice and safe. Comfortable. Good job. All right, excellent. I see that you have your collar. Your bed is low. It's locked. Both of your side rails are up. Put that back for you. Here's your water and your tissues. Make sure you can reach that. Okay. Very good. Let me go ahead and address your privacy. Would you like your curtains open or closed? All right. I'll leave them the way they are. And I'm going to go ahead and wash my hands as I walk out of the room. Please call me if you need me at all. Thank you.